Hey everybody, welcome once again to another installment of The Hang. This installment, as a matter of fact, is the second installment of Live by the Hour. Ah, I finally remembered <laughs> Third time's a charm, but it's actually second episode. So, I guess uh, it was enough. I was going to get it eventually. But yeah, Jerry, remember Jerry Rodriguez? Uh, yeah, he's back. And we're doing another uh another hour of live by the hour <laughs> yeah i got it down now, finally <laughs> but uh yeah let's get straight to it um i'm gonna, I'm gonna split up my shout outs into a couple parts today so let's just shout out real quick cross by list i remember uh all the gear that we have now uh you got some we got some i know i know it's summertime so you just probably want the t-shirts <laughs> but uh we got some you got some sweats and stuff uh up there now go to davidvmusic.com and uh, check it out or you just go to uh remember the hang underscore podcast on instagram and the hang hosted by david v on facebook to check out the actual uh, you know it's there too so whatever works for you dm or through the website or you know whatever whatever is easy for you uh we got you uh and once again remember hit me up directly at d.maj0r that's d major and uh follow follow to see any uh behind the scenes i guess like post pre 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 episode and post episode stuff on instagram live because we do go live on these and uh yeah enjoy the live podcast again with jerry <laughs> what's up guys it's been a while but yeah he's back we're back for uh, another episode of live by the hour yes there you go live by the hour remember because i forgot it <laughs> <laughs> no yeah yeah unfortunately it's been a while since uh, i was able to sit down with jerry but yeah welcome back jerry thank you for having you me know Dave. it's, it's usually yeah usually nice to have you over nice to see that you're still strong alive and well even after the vaccines, <laughs> no, no horrible side effects. All right, right. I lost all my hair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, same here, but not because of the vaccines. <laughs> um, but yeah, how's uh, how's it going since we last saw you? So yeah, everything is going good. Um, you know, w- still waiting for you know everything to come back to normal. It's starting, you know. Now that some like you know, uh, end of spring is near, and summer's around the corner. Everything is going back to like, I don't want to say normal because what's normal, but what, <laughs> right. for what was for right. for what was normal for us is coming back. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing working with you again, man. Um, yeah, yeah, it's cool. I mean, luckily we work together. Yeah. Here. <laughs> oh, this gotta come off soon. Like, no, There's a limit. All right. Well, I put limits. I put limits on oh, myself. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But it's cool. We're still there. We're still there. Um. Yeah, if if you uh, I don't know. Did you like? I don't. I guess you've been one of the very first guests here, that I don't even remember how you introduced yourself as. Um, do you remember? <laughs> yeah, you know, I, if anybody wants to know, go back and watch the other episodes. Yeah, because there's been people that I'm sure that are just catching on. Um, um, on episode thirty-eight here. Episode thirty-eight. I'm pretty or, sure it is thirty-eight. Yeah. Yeah. Something like that. Um. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I was one of the, I guess, like one of the earlier epi- uh, episode guests. Yeah, definitely. Um, for the Hang podcast, and then David and I decided to do our own little uh, spinoff from the Hang there called Live by the Hour. Um, you know, cause since I was like a reoccurring uh, guest, so you know, one of the, you know how like in SNL you get those. Uh, the five-time host <laughs> jacket. Oh, I, right, nice. <laughs> I yeah. have to get one of those uh, hang jackets. You know, I'll make I'll, I'll I'll make a hang patch for my jean jacket. Nice. Um, yeah. <laughs> been on. I'm a multiple occurring guest. Yeah, uh, for sure. 
Yeah, but it's always great to ha- thank you for having me, man. Yeah, uh, yeah it's always good. We to always have you. a good time, you know, with the necessities. Uh, <laughs> this we have here the ice beaker, brought to you by the company Ice E Y C E. Right. Yeah, that's what I'm looking at the side. It's like it's not how you s- usually spell it in yeah. English. Not but, in English. Yeah. But it's E Y C E. Uh, they make all different types of uh, of. Uh, uh, what should we call it? Uh, I guess just bongs. Yeah, bongs, <laughs> bongs and beakers. Uh, they do have glass ones. They have yeah. the silicone. They're known for their silicone uh, beakers. Yeah, that's interesting. Um, and also like bowls and stuff like that. They actually have an ice mold, so it's just like the top and like I think the bottom. So the whole mold is just ice. Oh, and, okay. Like, you make yourself in the freezer. But yeah, I assume that's the way. Yeah, it stays like that. Yep. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of. Uh, I mean, I always wonder. Like, I kind of get nerdy with shit at times, so um, I wonder, like, how? What? What are the physics behind, like, being able to do these things? Because <laughs> it's like, uh, yeah, like I always, like I always thought of that. Like when you roll a joint too tight and it's not possible to smoke. To smoke it's like what, what too loose it falls yeah, out yeah like what are the physics behind that and like exact something like this too it's just all plastic uh well i mean everything's plastic but this is like uh rubbery bendable <laughs> it's a beaker <laughs> yeah there you go and yeah you're able to um perfectly smoke out of this <laughs> so um no it's interesting and then the ice itself makes it a lot less smoother. Harsh. It's, so it's yeah, not exactly. as harsh as you would. Oh, check this out right here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then that. <laughs> and then that, <laughs> which is like the finishing touch. Is it still lit? Yeah, there you go. Look at that. So, yeah, brought to you by ice. I'm going to dump some of this water. Yeah, that is the, I guess, downside. It doesn't melt. <laughs> but it's cool. Um, yeah, luckily, Jerry, you've been uh, back out there. I mean, you're, you're always the type to skate almost any weather, I assume. Yeah. No, but, um, or not all the time. Not anymore. if it's cold. Cause, like, yeah, it, definitely it, not too cold. If it's not too cold. But, so, like, when everything was shut down last year, mm-hmm. uh, like, I guess, like, the first month that it happened, uh, literally almost a year, like, Mm-hmm. April, May, March, March, April, May, whatever. Um, there was like nobody out. I mean, there were people out, but again, like okay, everyone was like everyone was really fucking scared. So like, yeah, I think exactly a year ago, all the roads were just completely empty. The air quality was so great. Yeah. You go out in the morning, <laughs> it was weird. And like uh, now, allergy season is kicking my ass. Last year, allergy oh, yeah, season kicked yeah. my ass because the air quality was so good that the everything was just like thriving. <laughs> and so right, I was right. like, oh man, I can't even freaking breathe. Um, but I'm happy everything's you know opening up again. I can't wait to go to uh, you know a live sporting event. I didn't, yeah, I didn't think sure. how much I would miss a baseball game until like everything was like shut down because you know it's different like, when you can't go. Yeah, now I mean, I, I guess now you not everybody could go, but uh, yeah, you know, starting to get there, get back there, and yeah, like any any little thing like. Maybe not go on a you know Times Square on New Year's Eve, but <laughs> yeah, keep, any keep, just about anything I'm I'm down for right now. <laughs> just to go do it. <laughs> listen, I don't even go to New Year's in Times yeah. Square even when there's no pandemic. <laughs> All right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I probably did it once when I was a child, but it's because my parents probably wanted me to have the experience, but I didn't have a good time. Oh yeah, it's crowded. Oh. It's you know it's loud. Yeah, I did Halloween at the village. I oh yeah, me too. That, yeah, that, that's pretty. Cr- that's fun. Yeah, did that plenty of times. I mean, back then, I was a kid. I'm like, where, where is uh Spider Man and where is um Green Goblin? Yeah, and, you know, it's <laughs> like the people that I'm gonna dress up as. Uh, but you know, it's a little more. Uh, I guess I don't want to use artsy because that's that's a. <laughs> I mean, tacky word, but no, they yeah. have they have now. It's the uh, because like the movies have been. Mm-hmm crazy like and turn that not crazy as in good but you know the superhero movies have been milked yeah so now everyone's starting to accept that you know yeah yeah you could dress up as a comic oh uh, right 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 it's acceptable true, though, it's acceptable yeah. now but back then true. if you were an adult you'd be like that guy's a fucking weirdo dressed up as <laughs> spider-man right no that's definitely funny it's funny because it's true 
Um, but yeah, I, now I like to see it. Something like that as like as a kid growing up in that area. I like yeah, it's there all the time. Like every year, yeah. Like I get it. Mm-hmm. I could, you know, now like now yeah yeah. There hasn't been anything. In the city, big, city, what was your thing? What was your thing to do in the city as a like? What would you want to do in the city when you were a kid? As a kid or as now? You mean? No, like when you were a kid, like what did you want? Oh, uh, what did I want? Whenever you do? went to the city or whenever you were in the city. Um, honestly, I guess like even still to this day, like I guess just hang out with friends and right? like, I mean, as a kid, like you know, just ride your bike around or something. Get to explore. <laughs> yeah. My thing was like, if I was going, it depends where I was going. Yeah. Because like I guess at an early age, my parents like show me like there's different parts of the city where you could do different things. Right. That's true. Um, that is like, very true. Whenever we went to like Midtown or like near like Central Park, that was what we did. You know, Central Park or like you know, yeah. that or like museums. You know, and then if we were in the Lower East Side, it was mostly visiting family in the Lower East Side, but um, that area was just like you go to Thompson Square Park, yeah. or you go to like Wash, not Washington Square, right? No, yeah, yeah, it's Washington, kind of around there. Around there, you know, you ha- you hung out there. If you go to like Times Square, you would go to like the Toys R Us, and like it was oh, you. Yeah. The only time we went to Times Square is that we had family visiting from other states. Oh yeah, yeah. Like, okay, that's, we that's to, very true. Yeah. Can we go to Times Square? I'm like, oh, Times Square is so like. But like it was a chance to go to the <laughs> Toys R Us, which was which was the shit yeah. when we were kids. Yeah, I miss that. Um, especially like, cause there was like Toys R Us around here, obviously. But no, that's a, that was a whole experience going yeah, in there. Yeah, it was there. just like yeah, and then they yeah. had a, the candy store there. Yeah, they we're had talking a lot. about for those of you who are we're talking about childhood trips to the city, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> which we do talk about a lot. Reminisce. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Reminisce good good times. Now it's like nothing. I look for work in the city. <laughs> right, yeah, that's exactly what I was going to say because I'm like, as a kid or as now? Because now it's, I'm there, for, yeah, like you said, to make money or some t- <laughs> something like that. Um, I haven't hung out in the city. Because, yeah, I mean, as a kid, I, I think that was that place was very fun. Yeah, it's, a, it's a jungle. Yeah, yeah. And it's not that, like, I'm old, but uh, even in my earlier 20s, it was even, uh, yeah, I think I, I had more fun out there. Uh, than now, yeah. Now it's like you know. Now it's yeah. Now it's different. Now I, I yeah. But that's a cool thing, you know. You you think right now that it might be good or bad, but you're gonna look back at it as like, oh yeah, that was you know fun time. <laughs> yeah, no. It and listen, it goes it goes by like this. It goes by like this. Um, nowadays, like I just like hanging local. It's like you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing. Even though like the city's right there. Like before I had the car, before I had my car, it was like that was like it was like a go to just hop on the bus, hop mm-hmm. on the train. Now like when you had the car, it's like oh, I'm, I kind of want to stay local. <laughs> right, I right. Stay local. You know. That's yeah. That's kind of ironic. But uh, you have any <laughs> uh, you have any plans for uh, for like this spring? You said you were picking up. Spring. Um, you were picking uh, up a, a soundboard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's not tell people which w- what brand because we don't want to get the wrong ideas. But um, okay, you're going out to uh, yeah. It's just no. Uh, how many channels were we working with? Like what? I think it's uh, it was like a 32 or okay, at least 16. I forgot exactly how much. 16 to 32. Yeah. That range. Yeah, one of those two. Okay. Um, yes, yeah, you know. So it's analog. a decent quality size. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. All um, analog. Or yeah, digital? you know, not only does it look nice, but it probably sounds nice too yeah you know uh anything made like back then <laughs> kind of relied on the circuitry yeah and of things you know again we're not saying the name brand but the name brand you know they have a good um reputation that's what i mean yeah yeah and that's solid, what I was, solid reputation all right yeah not that like you know oh tv is everything but <laughs> uh, like you see their their stuff on movies and videos and whatnot yeah. yeah music videos even at places where we work right yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah there is familiar stuff so. a bunch of them at, uh, at Kuffenberg right yeah exactly the old white one right yeah um, that's the thing it's, it's just, they're just oh, like reliable yeah yeah because you think they're old it's like oh you can't do a lot but nah yeah like I said all reliables when I was learning with them I thought they were um mm-hmm. I was like, oh, I don't want to use these. Oh, there you go. Perfect. <laughs> um, yeah, it's funny. You think yeah. that, like, I want a cool uh, yeah, I want a digital Yamaha, thing. You know, MC, what's ours, the one we have in the theater? The, yeah, yeah, the yeah. Yamaha yeah. MC something. Uh-huh. Well, we shouldn't be dropping names. <laughs> but, yeah, um, I like the digital. 
it makes life so much easier. But you know, you learn with the analog. Right there, you go. That's and, a perfect way to put it. And uh, once you get to the digital, you're like, oh, peace. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah there's thankfully. some stuff in the digital that you don't understand because like you have to understand the software itself. But if, uh, it's a it's a it's a shoot in the breeze when you get to. All right. Yeah. And that's all you gotta do is just learn the software and everything else you already kind of know. <laughs> I mean, the one, so like we had uh, at this venue at the, we had this same brand of the one you're picking up, but it was much older. Mm -hmm. But it was like already damn like people have spilled beers. Like the analogs over here were just so hard to turn. Like you would think they were, oh, you would wow. think they were locked. Yeah. But they're not. You can't really <laughs> lock these. You know, it's like you wow. would think someone put a patent lock on it. It's like oh you yeah. can't you can't lock, turn the knob and like. <laughs> you know it's like no they're just crusty with beer oh. and it's like it's like dude some of the mute lights wouldn't work oh okay, so like, that you know when you hit the mute patch yeah well let's say you have everything set up from like four through four to eight or four to nine for like a drum kit and you want to mute everything because there's someone behind there you can't you want to know if it was muted or not unless someone was back there right so like it, it just it, it, you know you would know if you had a flashlight and you pressed the button and you saw the button was in, that's the only way you would know. Yeah, that's but like one of the it's only dark. things. Yeah. It's dark as hell. That you're relying you rely on. on the lights. Yeah. And then the lights are fried. Sometimes <laughs> yeah. they flicker. Oh, wow. And then okay. they only flicker when they're supposed to, when you have like, um, what's that called? Oh, yeah. Um, um, when you're like changing, uh, so, well, I mean, what I remember when you're changing like the settings of the overall that too um, but like when it's flickering it's like um for mute it's it? a mute but like it's like a, a q kind of thing it's, oh, oh you, like that kind of flickering it's a, like, yeah it's a q know, flickering like not too fast but yeah so like it's like yeah. uh let's say this person is going to come yeah, in randomly and use that light, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it will fl flicker like yeah, a strobe light so you're like what the fuck does that mean and it's just like it's just a busted it's a busted board you know isn't that fucking sick yeah yeah it definitely is um just a pick, a pick for it. <laughs> oh, okay. That's what I was wondering what that was. But yeah, it's funny how you got to rely. Like some, You actually do have to use your eyes sometimes. Yeah. You think it's, it's all ears. Flash. I used to work, yeah. walk around with the headlight. Oh, yeah. That's a, like a, a, a little another, red, another good idea. A little red light because you can't always take out your phone. Right. So, you know, I'll just get really close to the board that smells like vomit and beer. <laughs> and like, you're just like, why is this working? Oh, shit. Dude, like, so, like, it's like this was crusty whenever you put like the XLR cable in. Yeah. Right? It's like... It won't go in all the way. Oh yeah, yeah, I've seen those. Take like a toothpick and you go like you, you clean just it out. Trying to scrape it and off. And it's just right? like chunks of like yeast from the beer and yeah, like, whatever the fuck. Or someone's <laughs> vomit or just like how did that get like how how does yeah. it, you know? But I guess that's. I mean, I don't want to say everybody go out there and do those kind of gigs, but that's how you kind of get. Listen, better. there's all types of gigs. <laughs> yeah, gigs, you <laughs> that's know? how you get and Not every gig is gonna be like. I think we are very lucky to have the studio. Not the studio. Um, the setup that we have at Queen's Theater, Where, compared that's... compared to like other venues that are okay. like yikes, <laughs> like I'm not talking about big venues, but, but venues like yeah, just, you know, like you said, I'm not gonna even stuff. complain. I like it, but like um, in comparison of the quality of equipment you use, you know, right, right, like it's that's true. It's that's the true. equipment's reliable, even though the theater has <laughs> some of its quirks and like sometimes things go wrong, but yeah, in of terms course, of like you know, everywhere. you know that you know you're gonna go in. And not have to like worry about shit going wrong, you know. Yeah, there's backups uh, in case there's, shit goes wrong. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Is there a backup mixer? That's the only mixer we have. I mean, you could definitely do other stuff. Probably bring in some analog thing. Incorrect. And connected to the main downstairs. Yeah, you know, right? as long as something goes in. Yeah. Out, out the. <laughs> out the mix. Yeah, all right. No, I had some guy that I he brought. I did this Chinese show. You've probably done the Chinese show too. There's a like whole fucking music festival right. in the spring. Um, my bad. There you go. Uh, this guy had his own board backstage. He, so basically where the, where the crew chief's desk was, he had like a 32 channel Behringer or something like that. And oh, all I did yeah. was I just patched that. I've seen things. Yeah, I've done things like that, right? So like the state, the mix on the stage, mm -hmm. gave, gave him one through whatever, how many he needed. I, I think he only used like 
one through fifteen. He didn't even use the whole fucking thirty-two. Oh, okay. or thirty or isn't that thirty-six? I don't even know. And it's the that Behringer that has like those coke uh, color coded lights. The one that Mike Lawler has in Behringer. Behringer or something. I don't even oh, know. Okay. Uh, all these n- n- special names. What's this? This is a That's Yamaha. Yamaha. No, no, I've used Behringer. Spe- 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 yeah. By special names, I mean like it has like a serial at the end of the name, you know. Oh yeah, yeah, that, like, like tell um, me which one. <laughs> to know which exact one it is. Um, so yeah, like I'm not gonna complain about. Yeah. That we're lucky to have. That's, that's we're, not for sure. we're, if people saw where we work, and like, like the equipment we have to use, we'll be like, yeah, you guys, you guys got it good. There's yeah, some, yeah, it's not bad. We have, uh, you know, you work at other places that have, you know, beat up equip, beat up amps. There's a there's a squirrel living in the, uh, <laughs> in, the base All amp. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Do you saw that they're doing construction at the, uh, those two towers in the, on yeah, the park? yeah, yeah, definitely they use the the theater I think for. Yeah, for um, it's bathroom or whatever. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I mean, I, hopefully they do. I always like every time I look at that place, whether it's from the inside or out, and it's like this. This could be stuff. This could be something, you know. <laughs> it was like yeah, exactly. That's the thing. At one it point, it was a spaceship. And, uh, All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, it was. I mean, you, you guys didn't see that. I was, I, I was. <laughs> All right. Weren't you there in two thousand and two? Hey, the Mets saw it too. You remember that? The... I was at the Met game. <laughs> yeah, you were at that Met game. <clears throat> where the... in the wait, what year did that movie? Ninety something, ninety eight, ninety nine, something oh. like that, right? I don't know. Ninety, yeah. ninety something. You were, we were all there. They, uh, they're <laughs> spaceships. Yeah. And if you don't think they're spaceships, you better check your pulse. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. I don't, I don't think they used the real Mets player, right, in that movie. They like, could use extras. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I see why. Like, maybe the, because like they would have to pay, definitely have to pay them. Oh, okay. Um, a lot of money to be in the, the movie. Oh, okay. But why wouldn't they use like they? Why shouldn't they use the real players? I'm sure um, yeah, I think I think you're right. Stuff. You're absolutely right. Because I've only seen like uh, in one Adam Sandler movie where like three Yankees appeared, and the rest were like background <laughs> actors, you know. <laughs> What um, Adam Sandler movie is that? Yeah, I don't remember either. It was with uh, Marissa Tomei, right? Is it Marissa Tomei? Yeah. Punch Drunk Love? No, it was no. like... I didn't even know. The one with uh, Jack Nicholas... Uh, oh, Nicholson. Anger Management. Yeah, yeah, Anger Management. That is Marissa Tomei, right? Yeah. Um, anger Management. Yeah, I think that's the movie that I saw. It was like Cheetah, Roger Clemens, and somebody else. Um, did um, you ever see The Other Guys? Yeah, I was gonna see that the other day. <laughs> Derek Jeter's in that movie. And the other guys. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh shit. When Mark Wahlberg shoots yeah. him. Yeah. yeah Yan- was, Yankee. That's right. That's Yankee right. Clipper. Wow. Yankee Clipper and funny. paper bitch. <laughs> the other guys. I saw that movie because I was looking for the nice guys, thinking it was the other guys. Nice guys is that. Um, Russell, All right, Russell yeah. Crowe, and, uh, and I know, I know, I know, the, uh, dude, one of those guys. <laughs> yeah, it, it's. I mean, I know the answer. Ryan Gosling. But yeah, Ryan Gosling. Yeah. Whatever. I don't even know how to pronounce his name. No, um, yeah, that's that's how you say. It. I like that movie. He breaks his fucking arm. Yeah, yeah. The whole thing <laughs> is pretty good. I like. I like the whole thing. They're making a sequel. Speaking of movies like that, they're making a sequel to the, the Hitman's Bodyguard. You ever oh, seen that movie okay, yeah. What's that? Oh, another fucking Ryan. I don't know this one. <laughs> Ryan Reynolds. Oh, okay. And okay. Uh, Samuel Jackson. Right. And Salma Hayek. Oh, that one. Okay. Salma Hayek's is uh, his wife. That one, okay, right, right. <laughs> Samuel Jackson's wife. <laughs> hey, yeah, these people, uh, they've been around for a while. Making the money, dude. Yeah. Speaking of making the money, Shaq, with all these commercials, he's a... He's a definition of getting the bag, pretty much. That's what I <laughs> saw right. online. He's, that's what he is. He's getting the. He's on, he's on everything. He's on icy hot. He's on Tiger Bomb. Two two pain relievers. He's, you know you're making uh, it when you ha- when you're that's on bo- true. when you're on that's both. That's funny. <laughs> Even though we know yeah. Tiger Bomb is so much better. Yeah, I mean, pretty sure he needs both. 
for his whole. <laughs> he probably needs <laughs> a lot I, of muscles. So he probably gets like a tub that's like this big. All right. Because the, all of them are like pretty tiny. Yeah, that's true. They're, they're not like that this, big. They're all like that. The shack is like a special, <laughs> special <laughs> packaging. All right. He goes to the factory. And he's like, all right. Takes handful. <laughs> Yeah. Did you get a new tattoo? Um, how new? That one right there. This one? you never seen this one? I've never seen that one. Uh, okay, so yeah. Um, you know, Forest Hill Stadium. Uh, I was there last... Obviously not last summer, but... Whenever... The last summer, time yeah. summer was a you know real thing. Yeah. Um, yeah, they were giving out free tattoos. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. That's uh, fucking dope. So, uh, Forest Hills. I'm going to go Forest see... Forest Hills Stadium, yeah. I'm going to go see a band there in August. Okay, I, I might uh, be there. Uh, oh, you might be working there? Yeah. Dude. If Wait, are you allowed to pick your days off? Or you're not? Um, Do you, like, when you, when I you, don't know what it's like. So, like, when you, I, I did a festival one time, and, like, you could choose a day if you want to go see it. You know, it's like... Oh, You know okay, how it's, okay, like, okay. three days? Well, yeah. I did, like... It was, like, a, almost, like, a week... But uh, I had, like, a whole day to go see a bunch of people that I wanted right. to see. Yeah, I mean, I could do that, but I don't know what it's like this year, you know. I don't know when does on. this start? It was uh, probably late July. Late July. Yeah. It's always late, because it's always late July till what, September or something, and then it yeah, stops. So. Yeah, so hopefully things things are things again. Yeah, well, like, <laughs> yeah. now, so, like, the, I don't know if you, like, I was stuff. told that we need to get fully vaccinated to go back to work. That's not why I got vaccinated. I just got vaccinated because I was like, I need, I want to get fucking vaccinated. Mm-hmm. I didn't really like, uh, I wasn't really questioning it to be honest. I was like, you know what? Listen, I drink, I smoke. Why yeah. not just fucking do this thing? I already do harmful things for my body, so it's like, I'm sure this won't fucking like. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It's like uh, people were telling me, oh, you plan to have, you plan to have kids. They're gonna come out with like mutant powers. And I was like, yeah, if my kid comes out like Gambit, good, throwing right? radioactive yeah. parts. I'm not gonna fucking complain. <laughs> I'll be like, hey, that's the guy who used to bully me in first grade. <laughs> Take his ass. No, get him, um, son. Yeah, if my com- if my kid comes out like looking like uh, Hank McCoy, I don't care too. Like, the Beast, yeah, that's awesome. Funny. Fuck yeah, I don't care. But um, yeah. I was told that we need to get a. Do we need to get back to go to the theater? Right, that's what they were saying. Nah, I'm not really sure. I haven't really heard anybody or the, the man. You know, at least in my own. <laughs> they had, they had no, no one. No one told. Um, like Victor didn't say. Anything. I mean, uh, you probably get. Uh, what do you call it? Tested, at least. You know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> no, I'm saying that's what they require. Just at least testing. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Dude, now they're giving like. So if you get tested, this is for people who don't know. If you get tested at like a either Yankee Stadium mm-hmm. or City Field, you get like f- a voucher tickets. No, that's cool. To a game. <laughs> that's it's, oh, it's wow. an incentive. I'll go over there. It's an incentive that. to to get a vaccine, right? You know, it's just like hey, uh, go go to a free game. That's what's <laughs> up. That's awesome. That's true. Oh, I hope they not lying. No. <laughs> yeah. Right, watch them pull some stupid <laughs> shit. Like, oh, did we, we didn't mean this day. <laughs> You missed it by a day. Uh, Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, that's one thing I'd like to do again. Just definitely go to a baseball game or whatever sporting event, you know. Even, uh... I would like to see a UFC fight, but not in a big crowd like that. You know how they had it throughout the pandemic? Like, you want to be there? At the center? Yeah. Because I don't, like, I don't give a fuck about people who are booing and, like, ooh, boo. Like, if people who, like, grappling matches, if a fight's constantly on the ground... I'm not gonna, like it's a it's a battle of chess it's like a chess game you know it's yeah, like oh, a battle true. of wits like uh like it's not all of them are black belts so like you have a black belt versus like a purple belt or like, you know and like it's like let's see let's, all right let's see who fucking right, who true. wins like they were booing that Tony Ferguson and Benil Darius fight because a lot of it was like ground game and I was just like yo this is fucking excellent because they know these two fuckers know they they could take each other out. Standing up, so they're bringing it to neutral territory, the ground. So like, Ooh, we want to see blood. That's <laughs> yeah, why I rather watch the fight with us. Like you know how they was just the coaches and like, right. if you can get a ticket to that. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And then you could probably even hear what's going on. Yeah, like, you could hear court. like I want to hear what the coaches are saying. Yeah. I, I'm I'm curious. <laughs> that's why I've, I I've been watching uh like 
for some reason, like fighter. the Ultimate Fighter is appealing yeah. more to me because you he- like you know the co- you hear what the coach's instructions are, and like sometimes the guys don't pay attention, but like you know you can't always pay attention. Mm-hmm. You're like in the mix. Oh yeah, man. You're in the zone. So like what, hearing like the coaches like counter like what's the what's a good counter for that? Because yeah, um, Joe Rogan and Dan Cormier and uh, you know when they get Paul Felder and uh, also uh, Dominic Cruz, they know what they're talking about. Uh, Joe Rogan not so. I mean Joe Rogan's not a fighter, but he hangs around. He 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 hangs around fighters enough to know some a little bit what he's talking about. But like DC. Right, he's a former right. he's a former fighter and a corner man and a former Olympian. So like, right, hearing them is fine, but I rather hear like what the coaches are saying, like the actual. Right, more important. Right. I love DC and I love all those guys, but hearing the corner man, it's like, it's like actually being there. So like, I would either right. if I I would rather watch them like that, or go to an actual like when you're like it's like you and like twenty people. All right. Like, fuck them. <laughs> you can still hear like. Yeah, exclusive. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Cause yeah, average <clears throat> fan is good. You know, just want to see the home run or knockout. I guess you. Could. Um, that Francis and Gano fight, they had like they were giving away, like a raffle, like a. Twenty lucky UFC fans got to see it, and like oh, Tra- okay. Travis Barker, and Courtney Kardashian were there, and Machine Gun Kelly oh, okay. and Megan Fox. Were like, I don't know, they were like. Look who the celebrities yeah, are. Yeah, 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 I guess so, yeah. Um, that's, at least that's cool. Somebody has to go see that. I heard fighters were able to go. They weren't just showing, the, the, but they weren't showing the fighters. Like, oh, people okay, who are on okay, the UFC okay. ro- live roster, yeah. like, I'm sure they went to go see that shit. All right. Because it's at the, U- the UFC Center, right? In Las Vegas. So, like, why not? Why not? All right. Yeah, <laughs> be like, uh, I'm an employee. <laughs> right? I'm the sound guy. <laughs> <laughs> all right yeah that'd be cool i mean just just do uh i mean it's, it's gonna become a, like it's it's been a thing already in other states you know live shows or whatnot yeah dude florida so, <laughs> florida's been having their things since. yeah yeah exactly so you know what their numbers have gone down significantly because they all they all had covid <laughs> i had this yeah, one lady who, work. who came i was working one day in long island and she came up to me when I was like at the door, and she was like, "I don't know why, at all these stores have regulations about how many people are, can go in the stores," and I was like, "Oh, it's you know COVID COVID regulations." I'm like, "It's not the the mall. It's like statewide. Yeah, yeah. It's the it's state. Not just here. <laughs> yeah." And then she goes, "Oh, I just came back from vacation in Florida, and we're doing great." And this was like in July when Florida wasn't doing so great. Like, Florida was still pretty dead. Yeah. I'm sure Florida's better now. Well, I mean... People are going to, like, Disneyland. And <laughs> did you see that commercial where the lady was crying? Like, the guy and his sister were, like, crying? Oh, no. It was, like, they went to Disney World yeah. as kids, and they go back as adults, and, like, the guy just drops on his knees. And like, <laughs> <"Whoop."> <laughs> oh, I was, wow. Like, holy, okay. holy crap. All right, Disney. That's, uh... All right, Disney is really pushing it. <laughs> hey, they always try to get you, man. <laughs> they got me like Lion King. <laughs> yeah, dude, I I still cried in the fucking Lion King. That movie, man, really hits you. I'm just kind of joking. Yeah, no technical difficulty, but um, yeah, let's uh let's do another shout out real quick while we have the time. Uh, shout out to Hook Kickboxing. I've been going there, uh, rather recently now that you know, things are quote unquote back to normal. Um, I've been going there as, as much as I could, but even before the pandemic. Uh, and yeah, go to go to go check them out. Uh, there's a reason why I'm, I'm I know it sounds corny as fuck, but I'm hooked. I go there like almost every day, <laughs> uh, and if I can, I'll st- I'll stay for like two hours there, because once again, I I just like it-, it reminds me of it being a football game or football practice, whatever you know. You get you get your 
the first half in, you take a 15 minute break, and then you get your second half in. And uh, I know nobody's tackling me. I'm not tackling anybody. You're not winning any games, but you're winning. You know, you're winning your own personal, I guess, fight against your mind and your and your body, whatever you want to call it. Which is always nice, cause like I like I mentioned before, you think you think that's it. At just one point, you're like, that's it, can't go anymore. But you know, if you just you know, take 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 a breath, and just yeah, just take a breath or a couple, cause you're gonna be huffing and puffing. <laughs> but, um, yeah, yeah. Uh, hooked underscore Queens is their Instagram, so go check them out. They always got cool shit going on over there. Um, you know, it's funny, cause they try to make it competitive, like you know, yourself, like, compete with yourself, you know, kind of have these little things here and there for you to just come in and, and get a workout in. So, you know, so hook.com is their website. Go check out the schedule and let them know. Uh, David V or The Hang Podcast uh, sent you there. And um, oh, what's the other thing I was going to say? Completely forgot. Wow. And it is late at night. I'm a little tired right now. Um, about hooked. Ah, whatever. It'll come back to me. <laughs> but yeah. Um, yeah. Go check them out. And now we're back to uh, we're back to we're the back. hour. Yeah, we're back. Um, I honestly, yeah, I think the last thing I was talk- talking to you about. I mean, the listeners will know. We won't. <laughs> but, um, yeah, going going to actual events like sporting events. I definitely want to do. You know, like definitely uh, a nice day game. Yeah, I'm looking forward to football, even though football was. Kind yeah, of- I mean, I I didn't want to, you know, kind of be a uh, what you call it, a typical what I what I like to talk about. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're bringing it back. Yeah, um, football. I yeah, I kind of can't wait for that <laughs> either. <laughs> but it's not even time yet. You know, even though it okay. is like two months from now. Yeah. Till it comes back, but um. Yeah, I definitely want to go to a couple of games. Like, I mean, I think by the fall, things would be a lot uh, just less strict. Smoother. Yeah, you know. And like you said, you know, you could go to like uh, just some random state and watch a game. <laughs> yeah, like uh, you know. I mean, listen, people were traveling even though there was stuff going on last year. Right. Um, but they were just taking their test. Now that there's a, um, you yeah, think I mean a yeah. lot more people are vaccinated now. Though. Yeah. Than a couple months ago, <laughs> yeah. no, and I, get, I guess I gotta give it up that you know they provided it to everybody that I guess could. Obviously, I know that's not the case all around the world, but <laughs> yeah, and like at least here, like I guess the, you know. At least here, yeah, definitely. you could uh, get vaccinated. All right. Yeah, yeah, it definitely. Uh, <laughs> we've reached that part yeah. of live of the hour where we. What I like to call what I like to call a fruit salad. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we have some runts, and then we have some. No fruit salad. There you go. Plum mochi, and we'll make a nice fruit salad dessert. <laughs> Pretty well put. Pretty well put. And I also picked up some. Uh, oh, okay. A lot of a lot of different flavors tonight. Nice. What do we got here? That's for you, cause you gave me a. <laughs> Thank one you. Last time. I guess. Uh, Do you try that later? Appreciate it. <laughs> um. When is your birthday? Cause August. I oh, okay. Oh gotcha. yes. Yeah, I don't think I ever asked you that. I'm um, a, you you can put that in here, but if you wanna. I don't want to mix it up. Even though uh, I should be able to tell the difference. For sure. But yeah, thanks. What's the name of this? Or maybe not. I don't know. Just, just uh, runs. Oh, think. This, these are the runs. Okay. I think. Yeah, nah, runs. I can never go wrong with. So. But this is like an older. Oh, okay. That's what. That's why it looks different. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. So, like. The nuggets are still. Oh, okay. But uh, the other parts were kind of dry, and they just kind of broke apart. That's fine. Like you said, perfect for uh, just packing a little little bowl there. Oh, this bowl's going to make us dizzy as hell. 
<laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Be all right. Just keep the water around. <laughs> so for people who don't know the sound effects of a session, this it's more. It's like this. It's. <laughs> A little ASMR with our listeners. <laughs> and then. And then just put that on your favorite. That, that, that you're, uh, uh, sample it. And <laughs> <laughs> How many? We could find a bunch of songs that start with. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, or the lighter, for sure. Or like, you'll pass it. Yeah. Or, yeah, or the sound of somebody actually smoking something. Put the grinder. Yeah, hopefully not crack. ASMR. <laughs> I look like an idiot. <laughs> uh, speaking of... Speaking anybody of Anybody out there um, who would like to make a... You know, some cover art for this, you know, spin off of the of the, of the hang. hang. It's called it's called what is what is it, David? What is what do we name it? Power. Live by the Live hour. by the Hour. Live by I don't the know hour. where power came from. <coughs> <laughs> well power is gonna be the name of our radio station. Oh uh, right, right. Power yeah, that's, power that's radio I'm, station. I think that's why I'm thinking that. Power you know? presents live by the hour. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Actually, the other day I, I had to make a uh, little, Live. little nice <gasps> intro music kind of thing. Yep. Sixteen seconds. Um, you know, it's fun playing with layers. <laughs> so how have you been going about that? You, you you said you were recording on that. Um. Or? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I have like, you know, people people out there know like contact uh, and absinthe. Okay. It's kind of some, it's a couple like, you know, just virtual instruments. Uh, it's a nice package that, you know, you can get. And they updated their uh, garage band. And, and they got more more sounds. More know? sounds, oh, yeah. Okay. Nice. So, yeah, I got this thing called Absinthe. That, honestly, that's, I think, I'm not going to lie, like, you, you guys listening right now are getting a, you know, top secret look into David V's way of uh you know making shit happen but warning i go warning. to <laughs> i go to absence just about every time i open up ableton to work on something okay and uh yeah they just have all different types of cool sounding shit <laughs> i cool. haven't heard everything there so it's always a nice uh adventure just going through things but yeah like you know anything that uh should we add some of this to the oh uh, Okay, yeah. To the bowl. Is that a pick? A uh, guitar pick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, it works, you know? It's the... That's funny, yeah. And then you could just... kind of uh, makes sense, yeah, to have it in there. Like how much you could scoop up and just toss. For those of you who don't know what this is... Uh, go to your... Uh, actually, go to David V... No, wait, that's not my Instagram. It's uh, <laughs> D Major. Remember the O is zero. And there is a dot after D. Um, and maybe I'll try to invite this guy sometimes on IG Live if I remember to do it at the beginning of the episodes. I'm trying to do it, alright. Yeah. But people are watching. Thanks for watching. Thanks for following along. Thanks for listening. Um, I kind of do have to use the bathroom soon. Um, <laughs> let's take let's take so, the, uh, a ten. Yeah, yeah, sure thing. Um, and we can close this off. We'll be uh, right we'll back. Right back after commercials. <laughs> so yeah, commercials indeed. Uh, just really quick, you guys have heard this before. If you haven't heard this, um, you know I I David V David V Music or however you want to call me, uh, just Dave. Uh, marketing partner with Monate that stands for Modern Nature. It's not French, or maybe it is, uh, but it's it is an American company that takes care of you, of your skin and your hair and your uh, not not your insides too. You know, get your gut get your gut uh all healthy. I, I I'm not I'm no biologist, so I, I don't really know what to say other than all healthy and shit. <laughs> you know, um, but yeah, just put it in there and. You know, it'll, it'll, <laughs> it, it, you know, you got to be clean in there too, not just the in, not outside, but on the inside too. 
Um, but yeah, it's all, you know, once again, it's in the name, modern nature. It's natural stuff, all vegan friendly, uh, all natural products, uh, all ingredients, I mean. And uh, yeah, all the products are available to check out at mymonate.com slash David V. That's M-O-M-Y-M-O-N-A-T dot C-O-M slash D-A-V-I-D-V-E-E. Remember, that's how I spell V. Because, you know, it's just trying to... This is the same reason why I couldn't take D major with a O. <laughs> I just trying to just trying to help you out uh, as far as finding me. Um, so yeah, go go check that out. And if you're gonna buy a couple things, cause I know you're gonna like it. Actually, matter of fact, if you want to try them out, I could send you. If if you're somebody that sees me often, or if you're somebody that can't really access me, I can either take them to you, which is <laughs> I don't mind. Uh, and I could also send it to you, which I don't mind either. So uh, let me know. how at me at, once again, d.mha0r, or the hang underscore podcast. And, uh, yeah, try them out. And if you actually do like it, I suggest you join the VIP program, which is simply a $20 uh, one-time fee to enter, and then you're, you're in there for life. You're VIP for life. What you get as a VIP is always you get 20% off all, all prices, and you also get free shipping all the time. That's already like you're you're already winning right there. <laughs> you're kind of spending way less than you thought, right? Now speaking of spending, if you spend over a certain amount, which you probably will, um, you you get an additional gift. I forget the special name they give it, but it's it's an additional gift <laughs> uh, customized to your needs. You know, depending on what you get, who you are. Uh, you know, they'll give you some something popping, po- possibly not available for everybody else. Um, only, yeah, there's actually certain products that are only available for VIP members until they release it out to everybody else kind of thing, you know? And uh, anything else I forgot about the VIP program? Well, just go to, go check it out on mymonate.com slash David B. And now back to, uh, back to the end of the this podcast thank you for tuning in how's that asmr whatever it's called asmr with the uh beaker <laughs> yeah thanks for bringing that through man that yeah, dude, I, I thought this would be good to like uh it's a good uh live by the hour piece to uh you know yeah yeah for sure thanks uh thanks for sharing that and with the with the public if you're into this stuff <laughs> e-y-c-e yeah um, and <coughs> yeah, this is what it ends up doing. Um, fucking yeah. Listen, guys, I hope you I hope you uh, are definitely out there doing your thing. I know we are. And we're gonna have more more coming by. Everyone, um, stay safe out there. Yeah, for sure. Peace and love. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't I don't know what else to say. I don't say much, but um. We'll see you on the next yeah, catches, episode. Yeah, yeah catches we'll on see. catches on the Instagram, whatever, whatever. It is we do Instagram doing. live, so you know, yeah, just tune exactly. in. At the same time that we're recording this, we'll, you know, we'll do a little announcement before. It's like you know, live by the hour coming soon. We only right. drop it like twenty minutes before we do it, so you know, you gotta be on the lookout. Right, for there our you go. Instagram we'll post a story. Yeah. yeah, like check out our stories, and then you know, hey guys, in two hours we're doing, we're doing live by the hour. Tune in. Right. Yeah, and that way you can you know. You There's some it. shit you want us to talk about, look up, you know. <laughs> Listen, when you. you watch it live, it's unedited. It's, it's you right. know, it's uncensored. <laughs> yeah, you catch it all. You catch it all right. live. So by thanks, the yes. Thanks for those who still listen to the podcast as well. Uh, and yeah, we got you. We got you with more coming, coming your way. Yep. Yeah, but for now, we're signing out. Episode 38 of The Hang. Um Episode 2 of Live by the Hour. Featuring episode 2 of Live by the Hour. There you go. Thanks, right. everybody. Take care. Starting.
Okay, yeah, that was a that was a great episode. Once again, I'm glad. I'm oh, sorry about that. I'm glad. I'm glad Jerry was able to come back after some time. Maybe not necessarily for you, because maybe you just listen to all of them <laughs> straight through, um, or something, you know, or however you listen. Thanks for listening, regardless. And uh, definitely go check us out. Go follow Jerry at and then and Zappa. And I am at D Major. In case you did not know, D dot M A J zero R. Uh, and yeah, once again, we'll, we'll go on live, DM us, or just uh, text us a message, whatever you call it. <laughs> I always sound like a, such a fucking uh, grandpa. I mean, whatever, whatever you kids call that, you know, the the Facebook. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah, let us know. Let us know if any topics, you know, good, good old usual topics that we like to talk about. Uh, I'm assuming you like them too, because you know, there hasn't been any complaints, right? <laughs> um and yeah, we'll keep them coming. Luckily, we uh, we are growing as a podcast. So thanks, thanks for sticking in there. And um, yeah, we'll see you again soon. Or we'll talk soon. Peace. <laughs>